Western says it protects its students, but the numbers say otherwise. 30 plus girls would say otherwise. Over the past few days, I've been asked to not confirm any numbers to the media aside from the four formal complaints. I want to take this time to remind everyone that the vast majority of sexual assaults are not reported. The vast majority of reported sexual assaults do not result in criminal charges. The system works against survivors. The survivors of this past week do not need to subject themselves to a cruel and unjust procedure in order for their experiences to be real. Alan Shepard has said our campus is safe. Safe for who? Alan Shepard, do you know what it's like to be unsafe, not just feel unsafe, but actually be unsafe where you live? Do you know what it's like to walk past the site? Do you know what it's like to walk past the site of the most traumatic experience of your life every day just to get to class? If your answer is no to either of those questions, then I don't want to hear another word from you about safety. It's scary to know that this is happening in residence when you think, like I know lots of people have said, like you think in residence they're safe, you think they're going to be okay. And they aren't. They aren't and they don't take it seriously and there's no policing in residence. And as much as they're allowed to do what they want, there should still be someone there for them to make sure they're okay. Now I would go as far as saying that sexual violence is an epidemic on campuses. Over 40% of reported sexual assaults annually are from students. Taking advantage of freshman women in particular is tradition on campuses during this time. And extra policing is not the answer. There is a reason most survivors are hesitant to report. Extra policing is not the answer. Racialized students could very well suffer as a result. This is an issue that requires cultural change. 